Hi guys, this is Kenin. Today I'm going to show you how to export a virtual machine from Hyper-V. So, in order to export a virtual machine from Hyper-V, you need to have a virtual machine installed in your Hyper-V manager. That is a Hyper-V server. So, I have installed a Hyper-V server. So, let's start exporting the Hyper-V virtual machine. So, if you right click, you can see an option called export. You can just simply click export and it will ask you to browse for a location to save the exported virtual machine. So, I'm just going to browse it and save it in a location. So, I am going to select this folder. And just select export. So, if you see, it was exporting. Let's open this easy. Location. So, here you can see. It is exporting. So it was exporting three folders. The first one is the snapshots. The second one is the virtual hard disk. And the third one is the virtual machine. So here I am not having any snapshot. Here I am having the virtual hard disk. So it was exporting. And here the virtual machine configuration file will be exported into this place. Let's wait and see the exporting of the configuration files. So the pass, I will pass the video and I will resume it. So it came up to, yeah, the exporting was finished and you can see here 200 MB of configuration file has been exported with the extension VMRS and VMCX. So this exporting was done when the virtual machine was in off state. So here you can see it was in off state. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete this one now I'm going to boot the virtual machine so it is booting So I'll pass the video on the resume. Okay, it was booted. So what I'm going to do is it was in a running state. I'm going to export now after booting the virtual machine. So it was in a running state. I'm going to right click and select export. Here it was asking for the location. I'm going to give the same location. So click export. If you see it has started exporting. So you can export both in the off state and also in the running state. Let's go to the location. So it was created. There's no snapshot created here. The virtual hard disk and the virtual machine configuration file. So before you can see the configuration file was not copied at the time of the exporting in the beginning state. But when the virtual machine was in the running state, it has copied the configuration file as the first step and then only it was started to exporting the virtual hard disk. The hard disk has been exporting the virtual machine configuration file. I have of about 263 MB was exporting so I will pass and resume the video
after the exporting gets completed and here you can see a merging has happened and it has created the vmcx file and vmrs file and it has exported completely and if you see the hard disk space it is about 4.84 gb and i will show you the This is the file which I have exported. It was 4.84 GB. It was 4.84. They both are same. So you can see only the off state of the virtual hard disk has been copied. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create checkpoint and after that I'm going to export the virtual machine and before that I will delete the exported one yeah I have deleted now I'm going to create a checkpoint here you can see if you have created the checkpoint it will show in this place I'm going to create a checkpoint the checkpoint has been created and it was showing a confirmation confirmation message at 11.23 it has created so let's start exporting so if you see here after creating the checkpoint it was showing an option called revert to revert to the checkpoint which I have created let's create a, another checkpoint here so I have created two checkpoints here now I'll start exporting to the same location I'll pass it I'll just go to the folder which I, it was created so here you can see no snapshots has been copied the virtual hard disk file was copying and the configuration file was copying let's see whether any snapshots are copied so here you can see after creating the snapshot these files configuration files for the snapshot has been created in the snapshot folder so the same configuration file for the visual machine has been created and the virtual hard disk you can see the snapshots has been created here at this place where the virtual hard disk I have stored so this is what I exported when creating the snapshots and when without creating the snapshots and also while you export at the off state I think this video might be helpful for you to know how to export a virtual machine and what are the contents it, were, it exports into your exported folder so subscribe for more videos so that you can learn more about the virtual machine and also about another videos. So thank you for watching.